Hello and welcome to another Comrader DX review. This is Comrader DX Drive Lock Seat and Type Fruit Shift Car for the uh, Comrader Drive and Guy Movie Full Throttle. Uh, full throttle. Uh, latest DX thing. Oops, both things do there. Uh, so, yeah. Mm. Crappy box shape and waste of space and all that. So, Bandai. Uh, anyway, uh, as usual. Uh, got a lot of information put on the back and promotion of all logging user shift car and and the Triton and the, and the, and the different sounds that it makes and um, does this three tapes there that tape Chinese sticker there because it's still in Hong Kong I'll pull this out hidden underneath is instructions manual which well never mind as always it's a pain in the ass to pull off uh, let's see. I can put it off with oh no, I can't. Hmm. Oh well. <clears throat> Unfold it so you can have a quick look. Uh five, four, three, two, one. Outside, five, four, three, two, one. So yeah, it'll do different logos on there. On the uh, drive driver, but who cares about that? Because uh, I don't have the drive driver. I don't want it because it's well, me. I personally think it's crap. So I bought this pretty much for the lock seat. But we will take a quick look at the shift car because shift carness, I guess. Uh, and of course, the <coughs> lock seat did have a little plastic tag in it, and this time it's just a white tag. So. There you go. Zoom. Uh, focus. So yeah, uh, the wheels are pretty good. It does roll around really well. There's a fruit car. Got the guy orange thing going on. It's type fruit is pretty. Yeah, it's just just been type orange because really it's orange. It's, uh, has a drive stick underneath. Uh, would it make more sense to have a guy sticker there? But nope. And just like all shift cars, have this. You know, you should be like, just some um, flip, insert, and then you know, it'll pull up. Like, you know, you go type food and all that stuff. There's a video, there's many videos online demonstrating the uh, sounds of that, so just go ahead and watch those. But uh, the wheels are pretty good. Um, unlike also cars, I can't seem to turn it too well. Like I know old like diecast cars and stuff, I can go ooh quite well, but not this one. It's a bit weird. Uh, silver wheels, okay, I guess. And to be honest, the whole thing, while really colourful, it just feels looks. It doesn't feel tacky. Like it's a very solid piece of plastic. It's just quite heavy for its size, and it almost feels like there's mechanics inside, but there you know there isn't. It's just. It's just a piece of plastic uh, and a bit of stickers. There's, there's no electronics, LEDs inside. I mean, there's, there's a flick mechanism going on, but that's just, um, let's see if we can see it in there. No, I imagine there's just a little peg somewhere. But, uh, you know, flipping this is. I mean, they definitely thought about the to all the toys for people to do these. So, I mean, the whole thing is engineered. They, they know what they're doing with the toy size of so the flick. It's actually really good. You can, you know, just like all the like guy memories, we want to poke them. Um, lock seats, it's fun to trigger it and all, all that, and switches. This is similar to the switch idea where you can just you have a bit of fun flicking it around and just, you know, just, just do that. But yeah, the uh, orange is good, I guess. It's just metallic molded in and actually painted, so it's, it's okay. It just looks really tacky for me. So bye bye. Enough ship corners. We don't. I don't care about that. I care about the lock seed drive. So yeah, uh, lock seed's pretty good on the front. Metallic red is really nice, and of course it's got a tire thing going on. And um, compact eyes do look really good. Um, okay, up a but um, the back just is kind of ugly. It feels like this is a candy toy plastic, not a DX one. Uh, it just feels cheap. Open it up, you got the drive driver of course and type speed and uh, the drive logo and one of his shift cars down there. Not a weapon, which is you'd think it'd be like a 
Well, I guess uh, double has like guy memories down there, so that kind of makes sense. It has a just white transparent color, which makes this a very unique lock seed and almost Christmassy. And it's just released released before Christmas, so it makes sense. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But the um, back just looks really tacky. Power on. I'm gonna turn the lights off. Let's do that again. So on the back, it makes some sounds before we transform. I have no idea what that says. Funky spike. Try the one. Midnight shadow. Try the one. I missed the midnight shadow. I sub click for it too quickly. But um. That's okay. Obviously on that really weird like Japanese whoa sound. And of course I'm gonna stick this in the uh, Sengoku driver. Let's let's stick let's stay with drive just let's drive with Gaim just for authenticity's sake. Um power on. Focus. Let's zoom in. There we go. Tension. I do like that sound, uh, combining the drive music too with a Japanese sound. And because this is transparent plastic, the spring in there is kind of nice, like it makes it mechanically, so that's cool. That's funny. Bunny. And just just a quick look of it in the uh, Genesis driver. Obviously, it's going to do the same thing. And then we can do. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep the Genesis drive, uh, the, the Sengoku driver off, but we will do the Genesis core. See if there's any hidden sounds. Try that one more time. Should be about now. Yeah, no, 
on see I don't know Japanese I don't know what that said and then we're gonna do the uh, weapon sound here's a carrot Do that again. So there we go. There's the drive uh, lock seat and orange oh, fruit shift car. Uh, uh, like I said, I don't. I really don't care about the shift car, but the uh, the drive lock seat is pretty good. Um, even if I don't like the design of drive too much, the, the, the lock seat is nice for me, but anyway, um, just well, the front of the look is very good. Uh, the back is a bit lame, but the front is really good. And the sounds, I do like the gimmicky sort of like the orange samurai sounds mix with the drive stuff. They don't just say the drive names like some of the other lock seats, uh, but they, they really, they actually change it into a new sound. So that's really good because uh, some of... Some lock seats, they just say the name, but then the music is the same same music you get gotten in in previous iterations of these sort of henshin toys. Whereas here, they do change the music up a little bit, and they damn well should do, just because this is an actual lock seat that appears in the movie, and this is an actual sort of movie exclusive item that's just been made just for the movie, uh, or the movie design was made just for this toy. So it does require to be a little bit special, and it is a little bit special. Now, I'm not, I don't know what to do with this shift car, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like put the shift car back in the packaging and just sell it on, without the lock seats. Cause you know, I know some people out there who don't have Sengoku drivers who don't want lock seats and just want the orange shift car. So that, that should be all right, I think. So yeah, so cool, pretty cool lock seat. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day, bye. So out of curiosity, I opened up the uh, shift car just to have a look inside. And you see here, uh, this is screw hidden underneath, underneath the sticker, so you're not gonna open that. So like electronics, like a warranty thing. So, uh, but uh, here uh, you can see this this little sort of flat piece there. And when you turn, it will you know, click into place. And what does it click into? It clicks into this. This little peg there, and it just goes just a spring-loaded thing, and it just clicks into it. As for um, this shift bit. Uh, when you move it, it's got these little round bits there, like pegs. And you move it, um, in order to make this toy last longer, it will push against uh, this this spring-loaded thing. So it's not like you're not constantly pushing against like a solid thing that just like just like a solid bump, but you're pushing against a spring-loaded bump, so meaning it'll last longer and not you know actually like wearing down the plastic as much. So that that that's kind of cool. Makes that's why it's so heavy.